This is the first in the series on servicing the 90 plus percent efficient furnaces. This is all condensing furnaces. Uh, I shouldn't say all, there are some that are going to be a little odd and have a different sequence of service, but uh, this is for furnaces that condense water, could be 92, 95, some are 97 percent, but that's what this, what this is about, this type of furnace. Now when you first come onto this furnace, you take the covers off, now I've got the covers off of this thing, and you start looking around. And at first blush, I look at this one and I see something that could be a potential problem. Looking closer, I see we have rust down there. The 90% furnace condenses water, but it also condenses carbolic acid. That's CO2 mixed with water. And so it is going to rust, even galvanized pieces, it will rust some. So there's a, there's a rust problem in this furnace to start with. This is something we're going to need to deal with. And if I follow it through a little farther, I can get a better idea of what happened. As I look a little farther, I can see the rust is up here too, right on the inducer. So I probably have a problem in there in the inducer. There's probably a leak. Uh, we may need to reseal the back of it, check for cracks, etc. But that's one of the things we're going to look at. This is kind of just the overview of what you see when you come in here. You want to look at the entire picture of the furnace, not just a little piece. You want to look at everything that is in the furnace. That's when you first get in there. Don't just jump in and start doing a bunch of things. Look at the overall furnace and what, what, uh, what's right or what's wrong with it. After we've looked the furnace over, I want to light off these burners and see how they light off and see if I if they're working right, if all the burners are lighting, if they look clean, uh, how the flame looks, and so on. Now here I've taken the burner cover off, and I'm going to get the camera in a position where you can see the burners light off, and we'll see if we think they light off okay and if they burn normally. At this point, I'm going to light these burners off, and it's nice if you have a fairly dark room here, so I'm going to turn off the lights. So we have a little less light here. And I'm going to light these off. And let's see what happens. Okay, those look pretty good. They Initial startup, of course, is over here, and they quickly moved across. The flames look pretty blue, uh, so not too bad. Now, what I want to wait for now is the fan to come on. What we're looking for now, after the burners have lit off, I want to look for any flame change when the fan comes on. Now, if you have the fan door off, this needs to be back on for this because sometimes that'll make a difference. But you watch the way the flames are shooting into the heat exchanger, and you're looking for a change in the, in the way the flames propagate when the fan comes on. Okay, the fan is coming on. It's a variable speed fan, so it comes on kind of slow. Now the fan is on. I don't see any change in the flame. You should, if you have a bad heat exchanger problem, you should see the flame uh, coming back out of the, uh, the heat exchanger a little bit. But it looks pretty good. It's a little tough to tell on these things. All these newer furnaces are a little hard to tell. But on preliminary, this looks like we probably don't have much of a heat exchanger problem. Looks like we're okay there. 
the next video I'm gonna do is about the burners we're gonna clean the burners we're gonna check that hot surface igniter and we're gonna check our flame rod